Hey guys, Kamakuno, and today I'm doing a review for Wolverine and the X-Men issue 11, which is Avengers vs. X-Men tie-in. So let's see what's going on with this issue. Let's talk about the cover first. Um, don't love the cover. Uh, don't really like the concept of the cover, because this happened for like a second in this issue. Um, this issue is not about <laughs> Red Hulk and Iceman. It really is about Hope and Wolverine, and I wish they were on the cover and not Red Hulk and Iceman. And, um... I don't really love the art for Wolverine and the X-Men. To tell you the truth, I kind of like the abstract art a little bit better than the puffy cheek art. Or, you know, maybe just change both those arts and just have, like, normal art. But, um, I just don't really think it fits well with these characters. And, um, I'm not really a big fan of this type of art. But, yeah, so I'm not a big fan of the art for the cover. Didn't really like the concept of it, so didn't really love the cover. But let's see, let's see if, um, I like this story. Let's see. Um... In this issue, we get to see some people fighting, Avengers vs. X-Men, what we've been seeing through the whole main series of Avengers vs. X-Men. And then we get to see Wolverine and Hope together. We get to see Wolverine has to kill Hope um, if the Phoenix really overpowers her. And Wolverine says, you know, maybe in the past I would be able to do that, but when I had to kill Jean, I didn't. And I don't think I'm going to be able to do that for Hope. I mean... She doesn't remind me of Jean. Yeah, they have the same red hair, but they don't. she doesn't remind me of Jean. The whole reason I can't kill Hope is because she's just a kid, uh, and I can't kill a kid. So even though he did promise Hope that, yeah, I'll kill you if, um, you know, the Phoenix overpowers you, he doesn't think he has the guts to do it, and that's really explained in this issue. And um, we also get to see that the Phoenix is getting closer to Hope, and um, she keeps getting these like moments where she turns into the Phoenix, but of course not totally. And um, she's like, oh yeah, the Phoenix is getting closer, you know, uh, the Phoenix wants um, me to come to her. And that pretty much is what happens in this issue. Um, also, we get the father of... Um, I think his name is... Oh, um, Kid Gladiator. Kid Gladiator. Um father comes to the school, um, you know, the Jean Grey Institute, and that's pretty much what happens in this issue, and that's pretty much it. Um, I have to say I like this issue a lot, um, because of that Wolverine and Hope stuff. I think that's really all we needed, and also a good cliffhanger. At least we're getting some story from, you know, the Jean Grey and the students, which we need. You know, yes, it is a crossover for Avengers vs. X-Men, but we still need the school, because that's what the whole series is about, is the school, and of course, Wolverine and everybody, but really, you need to have some of the school also. So, um, I love that part. I love those parts. I've got the school. We got some, um, story about that. And I love, love the Wolverine and Hope stuff. Really was great in this issue. And, um, the one part I didn't like, which really didn't last that long, is that we keep getting, um, oh, like, uh, oh, Avengers fight against X-Men. And we get random panels of the Avengers fighting the X-Men, which I don't really love, you know... Like, we already know they're fighting each other. It's in the title. I mean, it doesn't have to be keep um, having pages about them, story about it. It's happening. We know. It's in every other series. And, um, again, it's in the title. It's self-explanatory. So, I wish they kind of cut out a little bit of the beginning and focus more on Wolverine and Hope and um, more of the school. But really, again, it wasn't that much of the issue, so I'm okay with it. Um, again, don't love the art, but... Hopefully they change it, but I don't think they will. It's been 11 issues, and they have these two, you know, the abstract kind of graffiti art, and then they have the chipmunk art. It's just really puffy cheek art, I would call it. Uh, I don't I don't love the art. I really don't. Um, not a big fan of it, and I'm hoping it does change, and just got hope for the best, or at least it grows on me. Um, so again, I say, I, I think you should pick this up. I definitely think you should pick it up. It's a good um Wolverine and Hope story and again we get the school again the beginning was a little iffy but in a little eh, you know self-explanatory but really it was a really good issue and I give this a four and a half the art may not have been good and there might have been a little bad part of the story but really this was a great issue and loved the story and um with Wolverine and Hope and really is a good connection with Avengers vs X-Men with the whole Phoenix thing going on and, um, even though it doesn't really, because it is a tie-in, it really doesn't, um, progress the story. It still, it shows how much, um, Wolverine doesn't have the guts to kill a kid. And you really get to see the narration of Wolverine, how he feels about, um, the Avengers or Sex men And feels about Hope, because we really haven't gotten to see his opi opinion on Hope. Because he's really trying to stay away from Hope. He's like, it reminds him of Jean, because of the whole Phoenix thing. And, um... 
he, again, he doesn't want to see this kid killed, you know, and she doesn't deserve that. So, uh, I say pick this up. It was a good issue, four and a half, a good tie-in. It was a good tie-in for Avengers vs. X-Men. We get more story in this than we do in this, um, main series. So, uh, definitely pick this up. This is Comic Luna. Hope you guys enjoyed. And, um, in the description below, I have, um... Two links for both my Twitters, which is Comic Uno in the Rand Situations. And it'll just have news about those YouTube channels, my YouTube channels, and um, those videos. And I hope you enjoyed. And uh, this is Comic Uno. I say pick it up. I give it four and a half.